hello guys and welcome back to the channel in this tutorial we're going to learn how to edit pdf completely for free in this editing we can learn how to edit text we can learn how to add text edit existing pdf document add images to pdf create links add links within pdf document and add in hyperlinks in pdf to annotate the pdf and we can even learn how to edit and sign pdf files online for free okay in this same tutorial i will show you how to create fillable forms fillable pdf forms directly uh, within this particular uh, tutorial so the tool that we're going to use for today is called sejda pdf okay and to access it all you need you just come to your browser and just type in google and you can just go ahead and search for search the pdf just like so and you see it over here uh, this is it search the pdf uh, search that helps with your pdf tasks quick and simple online services no installation required it splits merge and convert pdf into images do quite a lot in terms of pdf editing with this particular tool so you can click on the first option and then uh, you can see edit pdf document it's free you can just go ahead and choose the pdf document that you have and you're going to edit it perfectly now there are most popular features that you can have within this tool down here you can see pdf editor you can go ahead and use this or compress a pdf delete pages in pdf documents merge split crop uh, fill and sign if this is what you want pdf to word extract images from pdf and all the ones are uh, extract pages split pages um split by bookmarks organize fill and sign and, and so many other different uh, features that we can do in terms of converting also you can convert from pdf to excel to jpeg to ppt to text and to word all of these are completely free of charge but for today our main target is pdf editor and you will be brought in over here and it only has some caveats now the caveat is you can your files are going to stay private um automatically deleted after two hours that's just it and then free service for documents up to 200 pages or 50 megabytes and three, three tasks per hour you can do up to three tasks per hour apart from this everything is completely free of charge now let's start from the beginning let's upload um, a pdf document you can do that within your system and you can just import it i can import any pdf directly and you can see right now i've imported this document it's um 7407 design of hydraulic structures it's just the first part introduction to dams what are dams and some of its features now you can go ahead and as you move over over any of the text you can see they are editable you can just click on any point and you can start and you can start editing your document directly you can add and delete things easily within the document you can see you can come over here and you can uh, also write things directly if you want to write things very easily you can do that and then another thing is you have this um, feature enabled as you select on any text um, you can have these features you can bold you can italize you can underline you can you can under italize and you can play around with the text sizes you can see let me kind of click out uh we can play around with this you can select um, a section of a text and you will have the opportunity to to play around with the bolding you can bold italize and change the font sizes if this is what you want you can increase the sizes and this is the font style you can play around with the font style you can add different kind of styles and you can deal with the coloration if this is what you're interested in okay you can link up you can create a link with this you can say let me add up this to a link um when anyone clicks on this you should go to google.com for example then let's go to google.com a uh, link to email address or link to a phone number if someone clicks this to take it to phone number or to an external to an internal page within the document you can create that as well so it's very easy to play around with the text and once you highlight you still have um this text uh the editing feature you can click and then you can you can still have the option to move text around 
and you can copy a text or duplicate it and then add it somewhere and you can delete a section of a text now this editing of a text you can come over here with just a click of this you can add a text uh let's see you can make it um uh introduction to terms okay uh engineering all right so we can select this as well and you have this basic coloration so this is adding text and then you can move it also to any point if you want to move it to any location within the within the document okay it's very easy now that is text for you that is text for you adding text you can add links you can add forms we'll come to forms how to create fillable forms within a pdf document i'll show you how to do that in detail now we can come to the images over here all right so you can click out then we will do this and then let's uncheck this you can come to images you can click on images you can add new images or you can delete existing image for example you can select on this image and you can delete it if this is what you want you can delete it on your own you can see you have just deleted that image and if you want to add the image you can click and add new image and just navigate within your documents and just select any any image and just bring it in and paste it and of course you can resize it come to the edge and you can drag and resize this to any length okay this talks about how you can apply for jobs uh, with the help of ai this is my latest video the last video i published okay so you can see different things you can have the option to add and remove text and you can resize it if this is what you want and then down here you can add signature you, have, you can sign a particular document you can create a new signature and if you have an existing one uh, you can just add directly if you want to create a new one you can just go ahead and click you can have text image or you can this is typing you can type alex for example i can put the per sheet and you can select from the available ones here and this is going to be your signature or you can draw a signature on your own you can pick a color sign the document as you so wish okay if this is what you want and if it's okay you can always restart or if this is what you want you can say save this and this now becomes your signature and you can attach it anywhere and resize it to any size of your choice all right so this is signature you can add directly from um draw or you can upload an image if you have an image of your signature somewhere you can always bring it in or you can use a camera to snap a signature that you have somewhere and you can save it as your signature directly as you can see so at any given point you can delete a signature and if you want to add you can just come to sign and you can see it over here the one i've created if you want to create a new you can go ahead and on create now you can white out places um which means you can select a particular place and cover it and then you can add something to that something like cover up and then once you save this this now becomes white out you don't have access to the content here except that you can it's editable you can click it and delete the white out feature and everything goes back to normal you can annotate things you can write text um you can have um have uh, highlights you can highlight points you can underline text and you can add strike throughs and draw feature you can have all of these just select a given color and we're good to go to start drawing things and to start writing things change the thickness you know good to annotate you can play around with shapes you can add different types of shapes according to your requirement you can just drag and you can see you've added a text you can edit the line thickness and so on from here you can edit the kind of shape uh, the coloration if you don't want it to be this you can change the color the theme as well you can change the, uh, the feel as well you can change the feel and then you can copy or delete a particular um, shape so there are so many shapes over here depending the line you're going to have an arrow and you can do undo things directly very easily so this is easily uh, you can create different kind of things here very easily you can insert things you can delete things and your pdf becomes automatically saved once you finish you can just come over here and say apply changes and now this becomes your task is being processed and now your pdf is ready you can just go ahead and click here to download or you can click here to go back to editing it's very very easy you can share you can print 
you can merge it with another PDF. You can edit it or compress or do other features that more tools that we have, like we've explained earlier on. We can do all of this very, very easily. Now back to the most important, which is how to create a fillable PDF document within this particular free tool. Now, um, the easiest way to create that is I usually have to create the form somewhere. For example, I do create it in Canva and then I can import it here and then add the different features that I, I intend to add. So let's go to Canva, for example. Let's go to Canva here. And let me show you what I used to do. So what I usually create is I used to create a doc. A document is going to be an A4 document. Okay, so A4 portrait. All right, so I have something like this. And then I can come over here. You can just go ahead and search for forms. Click on this and you can select any form of your choice, anyone. So let's say we we'll go with this simple one, this membership form. You can zoom in to see it very clearly. And you can see these are some of the things you can see. These are editable. If you can edit them according to your choice, you can design the form to your test from here before you take it to search that PDF. So for example, I can just select this and say Toastmasters Club Membership Form. So let me just extend this. Assuming I want it to be something like this. You can just perfectly edit anything, change coloration and add anything to your choice, to your test. You can change if, um, the logo and add any logo of your choice to change anything. Make sure you add these boxes because they are very easy. It becomes easy for you to edit the PDF when you are in search down. Okay, so this is best time to call. This is like um, you tick the, the, the best part. And then this is father's name, mother's name, gender, and so on. So these are tools that you can just easily add and switch it to your test. Just customize. And once you're okay with the form, you can come over to share. Go to download. And then we can select PDF standard and just download. So this is now going to be your, your membership form that you want to make fillable within SearchDA PDF. So let's go to SearchDA. So let's go back to SearchDA and then PDF editor. So let's upload another one, which is going to be now our membership PDF document. So you can click and import it. You can see very easily we've imported the PDF document. And one thing you should know is this is applicant's name, holder's name. So this is going to be a text. Okay, you're going to add a text. So what we need to do is to come to forms over here. You can click and this is going to be ordinary text. Okay, so once you select, you can come over here and paste it. And then you can drag it from the edge here and it is going to fill up just to fill up this. You can see now we have our uh, applicant's holder's name, which is going to be a simple text. Now, if you're going to have it the same way, here is going to be a text also. Here is going to be a text. Here is going to be a text also. So all you need is just to click on this and then you can duplicate this and you can come over here and paste it. All right. So now this becomes and just extend it a little bit and you can come back uh, duplicate again and paste it here. So this is going to be just a one line email and you can just adjust the sizes accordingly. Now this place is going to be your registration. Now it's uh, your address. Sometimes address can be longer so you can come to fonts and then this time we can make it text multiple. So you can paste in here so you can have more than one line text okay so you can just adjust it to fill in here this could be more than one line you can have multiple lines and then you can adjust it to fill in this place okay so you can just go ahead and add in your text accordingly now this is going to be like a multiple choice you have to choose tick tick the ones that you are interested in so let's go to here and then here you are going to have check boxes so you click on checkbox and then you can paste in here you can resize it to fill the box clearly you can see so once you're done you can click and you can make a copy paste in here make a copy paste in here so now you can see we have clearly our our fillable forms so you can do that to all of them so there is no way no need for you to check or play with any text all you need is just to uh, add in things, add in the details. 
And then another one that I think very, is very interesting is you can have a drop down if you want to make it make an answer a drop down. For example, this phone number. When come to forms, and let's say we want to make this a drop down list, I can click and we can uh, click on maybe this postcode. We can make it a drop down. Click here, and then and then we can customize. Okay, so let's reduce the size. And then we can click on the drop down and add our options. Very easily, you can add your options. Okay, so let's say we select the options and then you can come over here. You can see field properties. You can click. So let's say write down. Okay, let's say select the code. Okay, so option one can be, for example, 234, uh, 235. Uh, 462 for example 462 for example and then option 3 can be um, 235 uh, 234 okay so allow multiple selections if you want to allow multiple selections you can edit to allow multiple selection but at this case i don't want to allow multiple selection field is mandatory you can make this to be mandatory if this is what you want so for now you can see once you click out you can click and see the options that you have so you can have the field for phone number and so on now let's say we are done with this something like that just for you to understand what we are talking about you can come down here and see apply changes and this now becomes our own fillable form and we can download it and share with people to fill in you can just go ahead and if you want to do further editing, you can edit or if you want to go back to editing as well, you can still go back to editing. All right, you can see it over here. It's been downloaded. So let's click to just open it. All right, and you can see the form that we've created. You can always click and you can write your name. You can see it is editable and you can uh, take this if you want to have this and you can add your full name. You can add your address and the email address and so on. And you can have the drop down that we've just created. You can click here and you can see we can select this yeah, very easily. So this is basically how to create uh, an edit PDF, how to edit PDF with this very free tool. You can just go ahead and explore it and see how you can use it to your own advantage. So basically this concludes this simple tutorial about how to Edit PDF online completely for free of charge. No need to download any software. Uh, you can do everything within your, your computer and save the document. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.